Hey, fourth graders. So yesterday we worked on finding the median mode and range of a data set. And the data set was just a list of numbers or a table with tally marks representing different numbers. Today we're going to work on the same skills, median mode and range, but this time it's going to be off of a line plot. Okay, so it's basically the exact same thing as it is when we look at it from a list of numbers. There's just a little bit more that we kind of have to think about with the line plot, and so I want to kind of go over that with you. Now, I um, want to remind you, first of all, what do median mode and range mean? The median is the middle. Remember, the median of the road is the middle of the road. The median means the middle. The mode, M-O, mode, M-O, most. The mode is the number that appears the most. And the range is the difference between the high and low, or the highest value represented in the data and the lowest value represented in the data. And remember, to find the difference, we need to subtract. So let's take a look at this line plot. We've actually seen this line plot before in an earlier lesson, but we are now gonna find the median mode and range of this line plot. This is the line plot that has the different trail lengths. Now let's not worry about the questions that are asked. What we are gonna do is use the line plot to find the median, the mode, and the range. Okay, so first of all, the mode should be pretty easy to find. I want you to pause your video and see if you can figure out how to find the mode on the line plot. Go ahead and pause and find the mode. All right, you should have immediately looked at the X's to see which column has the most X's because the mode is the most in each of our X's are data points, right? So in this case, one and three eighths has the most X's on top of it. So one and three eighths is the mode. All right, now we're gonna find the range. Think about the range. The range is the difference between the biggest data point and the smallest data point. So go ahead and pause your video and find the range. All right, so now that you're back with me, let's look, the biggest or the longest trail length is one and seven eighths, and the shortest trail length is six eighths. Okay, so just like we talked about yesterday, we've learned how to subtract mixed numbers. Now you can see that coming back as we are looking at data analysis. You're gonna see a lot of the skills that we worked on with fractions coming into play with data analysis. Okay, seven eighths minus six eighths, seven minus six is one, denominator stays the same. And remember that because there's nothing here, this would be the same as there being a zero. One minus zero is one. So the range is one and one eighth. And if you look at the question, it asks the difference in length between the longest and shortest trail. That's actually asking for the range, right? This is the range right here, one and one eighth. Now the median, what is the median? Now this is the trickiest thing to find on a line plot because what I see students do is they look for the middle of the line plot and in this case, it, this is the middle of the line plot, right? One and two eighths looks like it's right in the middle of the line plot and you're like, that's the median. But remember, it's not the median of the line plot, it's the median of the data, the X's are the data. So we have to do the same thing that we did with that tally chart where we cross off 1x, 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 1x to find the x that's in the middle and then the number that that x is over top of is the median. So here's what we do. We go to the biggest number, cross it off, smallest number, cross it off, next biggest, cross it off, next smallest, cross it off, next biggest, cross it off, next smallest, next biggest, next smallest, next biggest, next smallest, next biggest, next smallest, and there is our median, okay? Our median is one and three eighths. In this case, our median and our 
mode are the same. We see that happen a lot, okay? But I do want you to realize we would have gotten the answer wrong had we picked the middle number in the line plot. It's not the middle number, it's the middle data point. And in this case, with line plots, the X's are the data points, okay? All right, now I want you guys to try one. We're gonna go over it, so don't freak out. And We don't need to worry about the stem and leaf plot yet. That's tomorrow. We're gonna do the stem and leaf plots tomorrow, so we won't worry about that yet. Let me close that so you can't see it. Okay, this is dolphin lengths of um, dolphins in an aquarium. And we want to find the median, the mode, and the range of the data. Really quickly, just to kind of show how this could be applied to real life, this would be something that marine biologists working at an aquarium would actually do. They would actually be measuring their dolphins, and they would want to know the median, the mode, and the range because they want to make sure that their dolphins are healthy. If the dolphin is really far away from the median range, or the median um, length or size of dolphins, then there might be something going on with that dolphin, especially if it's way too small, okay? Um, so they want to make sure that they are keeping track of this information so that they can make sure that the dolphins are healthy. That would be one way that they could use the median, the mode, or range of the data. All right, so let's take a look at this. Again, you are finding the mode. We'll always start with the mode. That's always one of the easier ones to do, the range, and then I'm gonna save some space in the median. All right, go ahead and pause and find all three of those things, then come back and join me and we will go over it and we'll see if you got it right. Okay, so now that you're back with me, Hopefully you're checking your work. If you didn't pause the video, pause it now because if you don't ever practice, you're not gonna learn. That's why I'm having you guys pause the video and practice because that is helping you to learn the information, okay? So please, if you didn't pause, go ahead and pause. If you have it, now we're all back, let's go over all this information. Mode is the most. So I'm looking at my X's. Remember, we're looking at this is of the data, which is the X's. I look at this and I see that there's two, two, one, two, three, one. Well, three is the most. So the mode is nine and four eighths. That's the mode. The range is the difference between the biggest dolphin size and the smallest dolphin size. The biggest dolphin is this X over the biggest number, nine and five eighths. And the smallest is eight and four eighths. All right, so I'm gonna subtract to figure that out. Five eighths minus four eighths is one eighth. I'm gonna scribble that out and write it over here. <laughs> and nine minus eight is one. So the range is one and one eighth. One and one eighth is the range. Let's write the word median over here because I ran out of space over there. Kind of thought I might. Remember, the median is not the middle number in the line plot, which looks like it would be right around here. It might actually end up being that, but it might not. So we want to make sure by doing our crossing off biggest and smallest, all right? So biggest, smallest, biggest, smallest, biggest, smallest, oops, biggest, smallest, biggest, smallest, Oh, it did end up actually being right there where, where we thought it might, but that just was because that's where it happened to be this time. That doesn't always work out, okay? So in this case, the median is 9 and 2 eighths. Is that what you got? All right, if you did, awesome. That's amazing. If you didn't, I want you to try and figure out where you made your mistake. Did you try and find the median a different way? Did you make a mistake subtracting? Did you forget that mode meaning means the most often, not the most number? All right, what was the mistake that you made that caused you to miss that problem? After you finish looking over your answers, I want you to go ahead and work on your lesson activities for today, practicing finding the median the median mode and range of data on a line plot. And then tomorrow, we're gonna to work on finding the median mode and range of data on a stem and leaf plot. See you guys next time. Bye guys.